In this video, you're going to learn how to save an Excel file onto your desktop computer or laptop. We'll also take a look at how to change the default location for saving your Excel files on your device. So we'll start at the Excel start screen and we'll just click on blank workbook to open a new file. If we take a look up the top of the screen, we can see that Excel has given this file the default name book one and that's because we haven't saved the file yet and given it our own name. Now there's a few different ways we can save the file. The first way is to click on this disk icon in the quick access bar at the top of the screen. And from here you can give the file a name and you can choose a location to save it. So I'll just cancel out of there so I can show you that you can also go to file to get back to the start screen and you can click on save or save as. Now at the moment, my Excel is set up to save to OneDrive by default, but to save to my PC, all I need to do is click on this PC. And that's now brought up the default folder in which I usually save my Excel files on my PC. All I need to do now is give the file a name and choose the file type from this drop down list and then click on save. But instead of doing that, I want to show you that you can also click on more options. And from the pop-up box that appears, you can choose a different folder if you want to save the file to a location that's not the default location for this device. Now, I want to show you one more thing here, and that is if you click on Browse, you get that same pop-up folder. And once again, you can choose a different location to save your spreadsheet. Okay, so let's cancel out of here and go back to the first option and give the file a name and then choose a file type. So you can see that it's defaulted to Excel workbook, but there's lots of other options too. For example, if you have macros in your spreadsheet, you can choose Excel macro enabled workbook. Or if you're saving this file for someone who's got a very old version of Excel, you could choose Excel 97 to 2003. And there's lots of other options down there as well. And I'll just point out two of them that you may need to know about. One of them is Excel template and the other one further down is PDF. We're just going to choose Excel workbook. So I'll just click on that and then click on save. And now you can see at the top of the screen that book one is gone and the name that I gave the file, which is spreadsheet 14 has replaced it. So this file has been successfully saved to my PC. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to change the default location that files are saved to on your device. To do that, we need to go back to the start screen and then to options and then save. So down here, there's a default local file location. This is the folder I've got mine set to, but you'll have something different. If you want to change it, you actually have to go in and type the address of the location or copy and paste the location from Windows Explorer. So there's no way to search for the location here and choose it. I'll just make a slight change to mine by getting rid of the Excel subfolder and just making it the downloads folder. And then I'll click on OK. So now if I go back to the start screen, open up a new workbook, and then go to save it and then go to this PC. The default location that comes up now is the downloads folder instead of the downloads slash Excel subfolder. Okay. So now you know how to save files to your PC or laptop, and you know how to change your default location for your device.